I, I think the, the issue is not the bridging of, of differences or the content of any statement that comes out of the conference. I think the issue is whether the international actors have agreed to settle the issues in Syria, uh, mainly Russia and the United States. And so uh, this is perhaps uh, the 10th or, or 15th uh, conference that, that comes out with the exact same purpose of unifying the different uh, actors within the Syrian opposition. I, I think the Syrian opposition has presented itself in the past to be a unified uh, version. And whenever it presented a unified position, uh, the countries that support the different actors go ahead and create a new platform and yet bring another actor that disagrees uh, with a tiny or a small element within the statement, and then uh, looking back and say, oh, uh, uh, the opposition is not unified. Uh, I think this is really uh, not the question. The real question is whether the countries and the actors that have troops on the ground, are the countries unified in the first place? Uh, and then the second question I would ask is whether the regime itself is unified. The regime is not unified today. The regime forces are, there are tens and tens of militias that uh, on paper report to the defense ministry of uh, Bashar al-Assad, but in reality have no reporting mechanisms and act alone in collecting taxes and collecting, collecting loyalties from local populations. And so I, I, I'm sorry to take this to another angle, but I, I think the real question is whether the international actors are uh, committed and unified in their uh, will and commitment to a serious transition of power as per the Geneva uh, communique.